Starting a new business is difficult enough with all the challenges involved, especially with Amazon Private Label. What's worse is running into unforeseen problems where Amazon unexpectedly deactivates your listing. In this video, I'll go over a few of the most common yet easy to do mistakes new sellers frequently make so that you can avoid getting your listing shut down. But first, my name is Crescent and if this is our first time meeting, welcome to my channel. My passion is sharing tips and strategies on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, or especially if you've been around my channel, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. The most common issue that will get your listing shut down unexpectedly is getting into a product that is either restricted or worse, prohibited on Amazon. As you can see here, Amazon specifies exactly which products are restricted on Amazon. And that means that you need special permission and approval in order to sell these products. And as you can see here, Amazon lists the prohibited products that you absolutely cannot sell on Amazon. For example, domain names, uh, ethanol products, mystery boxes, and so on. So make sure you go through this list thoroughly so you're familiar with what products you absolutely cannot sell. Well, you might be saying, I see a whole bunch of other selling product X. So how come mine got shut down? Well, restricted products require special permission and approval in order to sell on Amazon. Sometimes Amazon doesn't review the listing right away. So you might be able to start selling and then in a few days or weeks later, run into this issue where Amazon is asking you for additional information in order to get approved for the restricted product. For example, the most common issue with restricted products is a hazmat review. That stands for hazardous materials. You'll need to provide an STS sheet for the material that your product is made out of. You can usually get this from your manufacturer. The thing is, is if you can't provide the documents that Amazon requires for approval, then unfortunately, you're out of luck. You can see here the process that's required to go through a hazmat review, and I'll leave a link in the description. For prohibited items, well, they're prohibited. You simply cannot sell them on Amazon, period. So in this case, do a removal order and try to sell them outside of Amazon. Again, if you see other sellers selling these products, Amazon isn't playing favorites. It simply means Amazon hasn't caught them yet. So how can you prevent this from happening? I'll leave links to the list of restricted and prohibited items in the description. But one way you can test ahead of placing an order is to create a ghost listing. What that is, is just create a listing first and fill out all the details for the product, such as the title, bullets, and description. They don't need to be perfect. You can edit them later. You just want to complete the listing enough so that the option to save is available. If you don't get an error when you save, telling you that the product is restricted or prohibited, then wait one or two weeks and see if a message comes up. Make sure you're creating a brand new listing though and not hijacking another seller. Another test you can do is once you've created a listing, make a test shipping plan. Once you complete the shipping plan, a warning may pop up at that time letting you know that the product requires a hazmat review or any other issues. But be aware, just because you don't get an error doesn't mean that the product isn't restricted or prohibited. The review can pop up later after you've already been selling. That's why it's important to thoroughly read the restricted and prohibited products page. The second most common issue that will get your listing shut down is if you've violated someone else's intellectual property. That means you're selling counterfeit products or you're using copyrighted material in your listing. It's important that when you're doing product research to check if the product you're interested in isn't patented. You can check by searching keywords for the product on patents.google.com. I have a video that goes into detail on this here. You always want to avoid getting into patented products. You'll lose a lot of money, including getting sued. Now, if someone has made a copyright claim, then you can resolve this by removing the copyrighted material from your listing, such as the photo or text that you've copied. Never use anyone else's material. You can also get sued for using copyrighted material. Always write your own material and take your own photos. Don't just Google a photo either. You can inadvertently choose a copyrighted photo. You don't want to keep getting strikes on your account either. Too many and Amazon will suspend your account. So avoid doing things that will put your account health at risk. Lastly, and the easiest mistake to avoid 
is violating the simple terms of service guidelines that Amazon has laid out for everyone to read. The good thing here is you can easily fix the issue when your listing gets shut down. Simple things such as not following the guideline for your main photo. For example, Amazon spells out exactly what the photos can and can't be. So as you can see here, backgrounds must be pure white and the full product must be in frame and the product should fill up 85% of the frame. So make sure you follow these guidelines because if Amazon reviews your listing and sees there's a violation, they will shut down your listing until you fix it. Your listing can also get shut down if you're violating the product detail page, which you can see the guidelines here. The worst is violating prohibited seller activities like creating multiple accounts or manipulating the review system. These actions will put your account health at risk too and could also get your account suspended. You can see a list of the prohibited seller activities on this page and if you scroll down you can see that it says no multiple accounts and misusing the feedback and review system. Okay, so make sure you don't do these. Let me know in the comments if you've run into these issues before and what you did to resolve them. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, click that bell icon to turn on notifications. There's also a link in the description to our community forums, which you should totally join. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.